Hello and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged, this time coming from the LA Motor Show where I've managed to find a rather unusual car. This car I'm sitting in is just amazing. It is the Bollinger B1. This is a 100% electric, proper off-road, chunky, clunky, big, tufty, roughy, tufty truck. It's absolutely extraordinary. Have a look. So, Jeff, first of all, Bollinger, that's how it's Bollinger, pronounced. Bollinger, yes. Because that's how it took me a while. So he pronounces it Bollinger, right. right there, and, so. and so where, where does that name come from? Is that the, the, the name of the guy that is behind the project? Yeah, so right. the guy that's behind the project, on top of the project, very involved with the project. It's nice because he's the designer and he's the, the, and he's the engineer. Right. So. But it's Robert Bollinger, and he's the designer, engineer, CEO of, of the Bollinger B1. The Bollinger B1, which is, I mean, I have to say, you know, it's that amazing thing where you kind of, I get all this press about, you know, there's this new car, there's that new car, there's this new car, and then suddenly I went, what's that one? <laughs> as soon as I saw it. It's definitely very different. You know, God, it's, it's, it's got this classic traditional design. A lot yeah. of people see, you know, Land Rover Defender sure. in it. They yeah. see Jeep, they see yeah. International Harvester, but it really resonates with that kind of classic design, the traditional design. And I yeah. think that's carried through not just the exterior, the being kind of the boxy driver, but it's, it's the interior too. So just do the quick sort of basic stats of it. It's all electric, obviously. Yeah. But. So it's the first all electric sport utility truck. We call it kind of an SUT because it's right. more truck than it is yeah. kind of like a, an SUV. So it's all electric. We've got two different battery pack options. There's a 60 kilowatt battery pack that's good for 120 miles range. And there's also a 100 kilowatt uh, battery pack that's good for about 200 miles range. Right. And it's kind of a go anywhere, do anything, purpose built, utilitarian type of a vehicle. But it's also certified for on roads. And in terms of recharging has it got has it got rapid charging capabilities and all that yeah it's got two stuff. and we can go when you do the walk around but it's uh, it's got the dc fast charge it's a chatamo system right now and right. then we've got the j1772 universals but then it's clearly very off-road capable i mean it's, it can drive over yeah. rocks yeah. And our engineering rocks. team they're big hardcore off-roaders they're racers they built right. their own right. race trucks so, because it feels like it's got so that, that it's, dna it's it. beefy yeah. it's the suspension it's got hydropneumatic suspension so you can raise and lower between 10 and 20 inches right. uh, ride travel uh, for off-roading and then it's also got uh, inboard portal axles and inboard brakes uh, that you'll see and, and wow. that just kind of helps with wheel articulation and if you're out rock crawling right. and, you know and so the there's two motors then what, 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 one motor driving each axle effectively there's Kind of. I mean, right. it's, it's all computer controlled now, so yeah. the ECM or the PCM controls where uh, which tire gets the, the juice yeah. that it yeah. needs depending on driving conditions. But there's two motors, one between the front two wheels and one between the, the rear two wheels. Right. And that's right. what's powered by the battery packs. Right. Wow. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's absolutely built from the ground up as as yeah. an electric vehicle. I mean, it's not, there wasn't a petrol version of this or a gasoline version yeah. of this originally. Yeah. And some people think, in fact, when we took the LA Auto Show where we're here showing it for the first time to the public, they thought it was just kind of a, maybe a Land Rover that we had done something yeah. to or modified or in some way. But it's really, it's built from the ground up. It's yeah. all aluminum chassis that was built, designed in-house, and then right. all aluminum body panels. Uh, it's reconfigurable, so you can take a lot of the windows out. You can yeah. lift the doors out, just like a Jeep, or if you're going to go off-roading with it, you want to turn it into a half cab, that's easy to do. Right. But what is the next step for you there? I don't want to say it's a prototype. It's not a prototype, but right. it is the kind of early model of it. Yeah, yeah and so I think what you'll see for the production model, which this is the in production intent model, so right. it's 95% there for what you're going to see in production for the people that want to buy it. We've got about 12,000 pre-orders right now. We I didn't know that. Well, wow, we talk about it. I know, and we just announced it in July, so it's only yeah. been a couple months, and, and the interest from hand raisers, people that are really interested in something like this, yeah. because there's really, like you said, nothing there's, available there's nothing on the market close now. close to it, no. It's all electrified. It's it's a kind of a go-anywhere, do-anything truck, yeah. so uh, it's really resonated well with the public and media journalists that are here today on Press Day. It's right. just been it's just been a home run. That's fantastic. Yeah. So God, that's an amazing amount of orders to have, but then you've got to have a manufacturing facility exactly. that can churn that out. So yeah. is that what is that where you're going so, next? It's, yeah, so the hard part is really just beginning. The, yeah. the design and engineering part was done, that's baked, all the CAD CAM data is done. We turned that over to a third party independent uh, engineering firm right. uh, in the Metro Detroit area. So they can uh, do the piece cost and the build of materials. So we find out what the pricing is. Right. And then once we get the pricing, we'll start taking orders, open up the order book, 
right. and then we start the manufacturing process, which will take another 22, 24 months down the road right. when we get it uh, into the hands of the of the buyers and, and the people that are interested in right. the hand raisers that have already reserved. So in, in, in effect, then, they're going to be kind of available on the market by... Um, <laughs> I just, I just, I, we just got to, it's fine. There you go. Thank you. Um, it's good. Hi. Hello. Hi. We're not going to stop. We never stop. It doesn't matter what happens. You want to bring him into the show? Yeah. Not really. No. You're in it, but don't worry. Don't the, only your back. Don't worry about it. Oh. Don't worry. Don't worry. So it's fine. <laughs> That's classic. Another interested Beautiful. customer. Yeah, another interested customer. <laughs> but then, so it's kind of, you're looking at kind of late 2020 when they'll be kind of somewhere around so there. The first probably. deliveries, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's looking probably more in the 2020 range for the next couple of years down the road. Right. And the other thing I know, that because it's going to be asked a lot by the UK-based viewers of, of Fully Charged, sure. is would you ever do a right-hand drive one? Yeah, so the right-hand drive has actually already been engineered. Are it's, you kidding? I was thinking you'd yeah. never do it. No, so, it's, oh, right. it's not that difficult. I mean, it's it's fairly straightforward and, and simple design. Right, So yes. to switch yeah. it I can to imagine the other it side, be that hard. there's no tunnel, there's no internal yeah. combustion engine to get in the way. So there's a lot of things that aren't there in an electric vehicle that yeah. would be in the in internal combustion yeah. engine. So that's already been done with the intent for after North American sales start, to uh, do international sales. Right. We've got a number of people, those reservation holders I was right. telling you about, uh, are from England, are right. from Norway, are yeah. from Germany, uh, France. Australia it's enormous as well, interest I can Australia. imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we, in fact, we're in the, the Four Wheel Australia guys were out here yesterday and right. running around this thing. And what, what I'm praying is that we, at some point in the next 18 months, two years, we can come out and try driving sure, one and sure, film sure. it, but we'll have yeah, to we'll, we'll look on that. Yeah, oh, well, that would be, that'd be great. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much, Jeff. That oh, was really welcome. good of you to talk to us. That was so Thanks exciting. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of interest. Cool. Cheers. Great stuff. Thank okay. you. Well, that is pretty amazing to have a look at this truck. It's coming to the UK, which I can't believe, in somewhere around 2020, 2021, right-hand drive. Amazing. It's just, it can't, you've got to kind of touch this truck to get a, an idea of how solid. And, you know, it's like, it's just amazing thing it's just an amazing piece of machinery anyway that's all we've got time for thank you uh, to, to Bollinger Motors and to Jeff for letting us have a look around this incredible car uh, please subscribe to Fully Charged please have a look at the Patreon link beneath this video and as always uh, if you have been uh, thank you for watching